Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm Diablo, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an anonymous Instagram account where you're capable of doing anything. It can be for a good reason, for a bad reason, anything illegal or legal, or it's just, just totally up to you. I'm just going to be here to, you know, guide you through the steps and how to do this. Now, uh, the first thing you are going to need is a decentralized open source VPN. Now, I would recommend Mysterium uh for this video i wouldn't recommend sentinel for this video uh the reason why i would choose mysterium for this video is because uh when you're using mysterium and you're actually you know using a server mysterium comes with more uh believable nodes or believable internet service providers so we're literally piggy banking off another person's router through mysterium if you're using sentinel uh it's more gonna be a digital ocean uh you know, hosting server, or maybe a Comcast is, you know, varies on your luck. But if it is a digital ocean, Instagram would most likely block it, because I've tried that. Um, so make sure you download Mysterium from the video, from the description below. Uh, I will link it, and also the open source code for it. Uh, it is open source, and it is decentralized, so it's pretty much trusted. You can check the code for backdoors. Uh, it doesn't have any, but you can always check. And uh, the second thing you're going to need is a email address. Now, when you're creating this email address, uh, most people would probably go for uh, ProtonMail or Tutanota. Uh, I would recommend going for Segmail. Now, you're probably wondering, what is Segmail, Diablos? What? You came back after one month and you're talking about something called what? Okay, so Segmail is actually an email, well, hosting server that is on the clear net and also on the dark net. So you can create it through the dark net and it's promised that it does not keep locks. Uh, you don't have to actually trust it because you can go straight onto the dark net and create it through Tor. Uh, I would recommend that. And uh, when you create it through Tor, you just want to get that email address and then use a email uh, what is it called? You're going to need something to sub-address your email address. So this is called an email or an email alias. Can't even talk. But it's called an email alias. Now, um, basically what this is, is going to allow you to have sub-addresses uh, that can direct straight uh, inboxes, any inboxes from any emails straight to your actual email address but it won't be showing any links to your actual email address. So it will probably show up as this right on the screen, as you guys can see. But uh, your actual email address will probably be this. So uh, you can obviously get the you know the basic hands of this. Uh, you're just going to need to anonymize yourself completely for Instagram to not track you. And yeah, you're basically going to need a decentralized open source VPN. Uh, uh, an email address that is created through the darknet or an overlay network or your choice. I would recommend an overlay network like Tor, but you can choose anything you want. And you're going to need an email uh, alias generator. So uh, you're probably wondering which email alias, oh, alias generator should I use? I would probably recommend Anon Addy. I wouldn't really recommend uh, the other one. I forgot the name for it, but uh, I wouldn't recommend any other email AES generators. I would probably just recommend Anon Eddy. Uh, it is free and open source. I will all, uh, also link the code in the description below. And um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all you need. And you need some basic knowledge. You're also going to need a uh, well, generated name. Uh, probably some aliases to go with that email alias. You're just going to need to make sure you don't leave any tracks or traces to your actual identity. So even if you go through this, you know, the steps in this video, it's totally up to you. It's actually up to you to what you want to do. And uh, it's in your control, uh, whether you get caught or not, or whatever you do, anything illegal. Uh, it's totally up to you. I'm actually just going to be guiding you guys how to create an anonymous email address an anonymous Instagram account. <laughs> and yeah, you know, actually, we are going to be creating an anonymous email address, so it's not wrong. But yeah, guys, enough of me talking and blabbering and, uh, you know, messing up. We're going to get straight into this video.
So first off, we're going to need to download Mysterium, or you guys going to need to download Mysterium from the description below, like I said previously in a video. Um, if you already have it, sweet. If you don't, download it. And yeah, when you download it, all you're going to need to do is just connect to a server. Now, you can choose a specific server. Uh, it's totally up to you. Uh, I would choose, or right now I'm going to be choosing United States. But you can choose any server that you want. Um, and yeah, when you choose the server, uh, basically what we want to do is actually, you know, travel over to Darknet. Now you can see that the screen has changed. We're going to be creating an anonymous email through SecMail on the Darknet. And, um, you know, once we create the email, we're just going to copy that and, you know, save that. So navigate to SecMail. I will be link, uh, linking the well, the link in the description below, so you guys can, you know, access Secmo through either the ClearNet or the DarkNet. And yeah, just create your email, and uh, I'll be back once uh, this email is created. Okay, guys, so after you've created your email, uh, you got your email on Secmo, uh, now you want to add a custom email alias. Now, you remember when I said in the video, Anon Addy is going to be recommended for this video. Uh, I don't think I said that in the video, but you know I was talking about Anon Addy. So, make sure to have that downloaded if you don't already, or you can choose any other, you know, anonymous email alias generators. But in this video, we're going to be using Anon Addy. So, download Anon Addy from the, you know, I think it's the F3 app. Yep, I always get that wrong. But yeah, download it from the After It app, and uh, once you download that, all you're going to need to do is just add your email address. That's it. Just add your email address, and uh, you can just add the custom email alias and use that. You're going to need to use that for email or for Instagram. This, you obviously don't want no links, and even if, you know, you was to give up your actual Secmo email address, Instagram will still not know who you are, but it's better to be completely anonymous and back up your traces. So just in case, create a custom alias. Just in case. Just in case. 